γενιά των Beatles πήρε μια όχι και τόσο κοσμοπολίτικη απόφαση. Ψήφισε υπέρ του Brexit, υπέρ του μοναχικού δρόμου, βασισμένη συχνά σε πληροφορίες που δεν είχαν καμία σχέση με την πραγματικότητα. The vote was very easy in our right of Europe. Love me do. It wasn't a vote for not having access to the materials needed for medical machines. That would be a different question. So it, the question was too simple. But secondly, the debate then just became about very narrow things, migration, money for the NHS, costs, and all the subtleties were not in that debate. And I do think that's a failure of the media in the sense that Nobody thought through how to try and get those messages across to a broad audience. Love, love me do. You know I love you. I'll always be true. So love me do. Ανάμεσα στα συνθήματα και συναισθήματα που εκμεταλλεύτηκαν οι οπαδοί του Brexit και τα οποία έπιασαν τόπο ιδιαίτερα στις μεγαλύτερες γενιές που έχουν βιώσει τα δεινά του πολέμου ήταν και αυτό για τη γερμανική παντοδυναμία στην Ευρώπη. I can speak for my grandmother who has passed away that no she didn't like the Germans and she wanted to leave the EU because the Germans ran everything. I am sure if you go to other parts of the EU they will think about the way in which Britain argued for its opt-out of agricultural policy and it always got in it, it always got its own way. We had many benefits in Britain that other countries didn't have. I think there is an element of a misunderstanding of the European democratic process, that's very clear. But also, and this is where there is a truth to some of the things that Brexit people said, democratic process in the EU is very unclear. As is the situation in the British Republic, after the power of the President Theresa May to pass from the Council the agreement with the European Union. Chaotic and very unstable. Uh, in, in such a way that I don't think anyone has really quite seen this kind of chaotic situation before. Um, obviously in Parliament reflects a lot of this instability because they say they make one decision and they're going to do this and then the next day they do that and then it keeps on, on changing. Obviously uh, Theresa May is fighting for the interests of big business and the City of London so that's really her agenda although she never really says that. You know, oh, I'm, we're all in it together. Well, I don't think anyone would dare say that phrase these days. <laughs>